Good morning everyone, nice and cheerful this morning, guess why, it's because I called it. So let's have a quick look through, we've got the pound up against the dollar, pound gaining massive strength after inflation coming up, and the dollar strong against everything else. Um, I was looking at this for a play this morning, I think I mentioned last night that I, I didn't take... Uh, I didn't take that trade in real money, which is quite frustrating. My uh, my trade was uh, oh, let's have a look at it. It's doing quite well. <laughs> this is in my paper account. We're up one point three three percent on this instrument. Look, short on the FTSE last night. Um, I managed to get in at a great level here. Goodness knows why I. Well, this is kind of why I'm doing these videos, you know, because uh, it will let me see my mistakes. And uh, I, I did mention at the weekend. Usually, the reason I've started these videos, if I look through everything like everything and look through all the news and all that they usually come up with some like the right call whether that's to uh, trade or not it usually ends up being right I have noticed that and uh, last night I looked through everything looked through all the news and I got the itch to place this trade short on the FTSE but for some reason I uh, did not do it in real money you see I got in here about 10 past 4 and from there it's overnight it's come down it's a great level look. We're below, we're above yesterday's open and close. Um, I've moved my stop down now. I had my stop at break even before I went to bed. I mean, it was a great trade. Wish I had taken it in real money. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've got my stop here now. Look, um, we are currently at seven forty nine. So we've got the open in ten minutes. Every chance that comes up, if uh, the price does come back up. <laughs> And uh, break this little level here. Um, I do fancy it to recover further, perhaps up to uh, the line. Um, but you can see equities down in general. We've got European inflation coming out this morning as well. We can see where these have opened up Spain, France, and Germany all gapping down. Germany runs a 24 hour market here, so you can't see the gap, but um, all gapping down. States are going to gap down as well. Look, Dow Jones. Uh, S&P and the Russell 2000 all going to gap down by the look of it. Even um, Nasdaq with the uh, mega bulls, that looks like it's going to be gapping down today. Um, Hong Kong and China 50. I wish I knew the name of these. Uh, indexes. Are, no, I don't. I don't give a shit. Um, and Japan. Look at this. All having, uh, all having a red day. Let's check the uh, foreign, well we kind of just looked at the foreign exchange didn't we, so let's have a look at the uh, gold. Um, gold beating the yen and the Aussie, yen and the Aussie the weakest, strongest is, is it still the dollar? Oh you know it is, still the dollar, dollar very very strong at the moment. Um, so yeah. I mean, it's kind of useless now because we've you sort of missed the missed the boat. But after that inflation came out, I thought, right, I can't really play. Oh my God, let me change my screen, please. I can't really play the uh, footsie now because I got such a good position yesterday on my paper trading account. I'm thinking, well, I just can't short that now. I've sort of missed the boat on that one. I could have got when I woke up. Where are we? 10 to 6 ish. I could have got in straight away here, look, but just didn't fancy it, you know, right at 75. Hmm, didn't fancy it. Um, so, yeah, I've missed the boat on that one. But I was thinking after the news came out, how can I play it? Um, yen being so weak, I thought we could go long pound yen. Um, I've not taken it because uh, I just couldn't get a good position with a, a, a good. A good location for my stop you know remember my rule is the stop has to be uh, ignore this shit it's, I can't keep uh, I keep changing this and it, it keeps changing back I want to draw my own stop um, I want it at 0.2% uh, max and I just couldn't get I just couldn't get a good position for it so uh, there we go oh that's euro uh, yen my apologies pound yen this is it and this did pull back a bit at one point and I still couldn't get um, a good position for my stop, so uh, I missed that one as well. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm here to gloat, but still haven't made any money, have I? So uh, how much can I gloat, really? 
Um, pound is looking strong though today. Maybe the play now for tomorrow will be to uh, find a position, find a, a good time to short the pound because the strength won't continue. Inflation has come up a little bit. Let's see what the uh, result was. Oh, actually, no, it's it's marching up higher now. Look, we've gone from uh, a bit of deflation to um, 0.4, now up to 0.6. Inflation rate year on year back up to 5.1. Look, after a bit of a dip, month on month, 0.4, yeah. So uh, it's not been good news here. As I said yesterday, um, the inflation is plain to see. Um, so, yeah, it, it was, everyone could have spotted it. Uh, if you're paying attention, maybe it's just because all of the stuff that I buy, I don't buy much, uh, I don't buy a big variety of uh, items of food. It's mostly just like l l like chicken fingers and uh, sausage rolls and shit like that. <laughs> um, so I really noticed the price rises. I'm telling you, over the past um, couple of years, the prices are up like 40, 50%. Um, it is uh, big time inflation for me. Uh, my pay hasn't come up that much either. So uh, sad times. But um, yeah, just here for a bit of a gloat. I'm going to post this straight away. Look at this. Wadoosh, well, you're welcome. If you followed my trade last night and got into this uh, FTSE short, uh, well done. Congratulations. So move your stop in. Don't lose your money. All right. Bye bye.